Candace Owens is going to, for no reason, create a conspiracy theory about the death of Bob Saget. Um, it's really sad to know that Bob Saget died. I have been watching Full House since I was old enough to watch TV. Uh, I even watched some of the newer episodes as well that came out on Netflix. And, you know, I, I love the show. Bob Saget, I think, is is always he's always been pretty funny. Um, yeah, this is wild. So I haven't seen the whole thing, James. But yeah, so apparently Candace Owens has a theory as to what caused Bob Saget's death. Now, as far as I know, at the time that I record this, the cause of death was actually a stroke or a heart attack, and it occurred when he was sleeping. So thankfully, he didn't experience pain, presumably. But she has a different idea as to why Bob Saget died. And again, absolutely no reason for this conspiracy theory. She's just for whatever reason, choosing to politicize the death of Bob Saget, but here we are. So, am I a conspiracy theorist or am I Nostradamus? You're a conspiracy theorist. The answer is neither. I'm just not on Big Pharma's payroll and I refuse to peddle in their lies. And so to that end, today, I'm going to point out another truth and it will likely be deemed a conspiracy theory until it's not. There are too many healthy individuals like Bob Saget, who we know have received their vaccinations, who are dropping dead suddenly and unexpectedly with no further explanation. So it has to be a conspiracy? She's Nostra dumbass. Yeah, exactly. Healthy athletes, young students in their physical prime, the majority of them males dropping suddenly and unexpectedly in the middle of games from heart issues. What we know for a fact is that these people are being mandated to take the vaccine. And we know for a fact that these vaccines come with a warning that they bring about myocarditis. Okay, I'm just going to stop it right there. Nobody's being mandated to take the vaccines. The vaccine mandates are not stringent. It's not even required currently that you have to show proof of vaccination to get on a fucking plane. So it's either you get the vaccine or you have to test uh, at least once a week. That is, I mean, the standards there are so low that it's ridiculous. But for her to suggest that people are dying because of the vaccine, um, this is dangerous. No, they're dying because they're getting COVID and they're not vaccinated. And it's because of misinformation uh, or disinformation agents like you, Candace Owens, but she doesn't care. I don't even think she believes anything that she says. I'm pretty sure she's vaccinated herself because didn't she attend a sports game sometime last year? And it was a game that you had to show proof that you were vaccinated. Didn't she attend that? So uh, I'm pretty sure she's vaccinated. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. James, she's just asking questions. That's that's all it is. But the media is once again gaslighting the public, pretending that to even take notice of this very alarming trend is a conspiracy. The problem isn't that healthy men are dying. The problem is that you're noticing it. Where are the fact checkers? All of this to say that I don't know why a healthy man who is in the middle of a comedy tour suddenly and unexpectedly drops dead in his hotel room. But I do know. It's got to be the vaccine. It's got to be the vaccine, of course. Of course. I mean, this is this is delusional. This is absolute Alex Jones level stupidity. Um, and even in the way she speaks, you can tell she doesn't believe the bullshit she's saying. She is playing one of the greatest hits of the era to her GOP audience. And she has no shame whatsoever. Oh, of course, it's got to be the COVID vaccine. He's dead. So I think COVID vaccines kill people and somebody died. Therefore, it must be the COVID vaccine. Holy shit. That we have a right to ask the question. All of us do. In fact, when the entire world has suddenly and unexpectedly been prescribed an injection that we don't need, it is not only... Are you sure about that? Because we're currently experiencing a global pandemic that has killed almost 900,000 Americans. And as of late, it's mostly the unvaccinated who are dying. So to say we don't need it is just factually incorrect, but it's also really stupid. I would like to know, like, honestly, is she vaccinated or not? I think she probably is, if I had to guess. Our right to ask questions, but also our right to demand answers. 
So it has to be the COVID vaccine. This is just so disgusting. I mean, she has no shame whatsoever to politicize a death and uh, shoehorn in anti-vax hysteria. It's just so disgusting because how many people will listen to charlatans like uh, Candace Owens and choose to not get vaccinated because they think that she's serious. She, They think that she is speaking truth and she has inside insight and she's saying what everyone else is too afraid to say. It's uh, it's maddening. It's it's immoral, but she's going to keep doing it because she's making lots and lots of money off of telling right wingers what they want to hear. Um, she doesn't care if now it's the case that mostly right wingers are dying. She doesn't care that we are going to probably surpass one million uh, COVID deaths in the United States sometime this year. She couldn't care less. So long as she's making money and riding this gravy train, she's going to keep, you know, um, disseminating this bullshit.